Hello guys, today we are here to discuss about VLSI that is nothing but very large scale integration. So quickly we'll see what is our agenda and what we are going to discuss in this session. So first of all, we will see what is the difference between language C and HDL. The second point what we are going to discuss that is nothing but difference between microcontroller and FPGA. The last thing we'll discuss how to design MUX functionality using gates. So first of all, I just want to discuss one program in C language. What I'm doing here, I'm taking three variables and I'm assigning some values inside this variable. So A equal to 10, B equal to 5 and C equal to A plus B. And I just want to print A, B and C value. So definitely what output we'll get? We'll get A as 10, B as 5 and C as 15. Now, this code I am writing with the help of VHDL. So here also I am, I am assigning some values to A, B and C. So definitely we will get the addition of A and B value in C variable. Now in this example, what I am doing, I am putting this statement first C equal to A plus B. After that, I'm assigning some value inside A and B that is nothing but 10 and 5 respectively. So what will happen? The output I will get like this. A value I will get 10, B value I will get 5 and C value I will get 0. Why? Because, because C is sequential language and it will execute all the statement line by line. Now if, if I'm seeing this second example, which I'm, which I'm writing in VSDL, then I'll get to know, here I'm writing C equal to A plus B. So this less than equal to is nothing but my non-blocking statement in HDL. So what will happen? It will assign first A and B values, and after that, it will perform the operation. So definitely, I will get correct result inside the C variable. So this is the advantage of VSDL language. It is showing the parallelism in, in our design. So that's why we are calling it as concurrent language. So as I told you, my C is nothing but sequential, but my SDL languages are nothing but concurrent and it is showing the parallelism of the design. Now, in this VLSI design, if I'm talking about HDL, we are using two languages. That is nothing but first is VSDL and second is Verilog. Now the second point is what is the difference between microcontroller and FPGA? So if I'm talking about microcontroller, I can connect different peripherals with the microcontroller. Now suppose, now what is the difference between microcontroller and FPGA? So FPGA is nothing but, FPGA stands for Field Programmable Gate Array. So this is an IC that can be configured by the user to emulate any digital design as long as there are enough resources. Now the question is what FPGA will contain? So FPGA will contain the CLBs, that is nothing but configurable logic blocks. So why we are calling it as programmable? I just want to take one example here. So the thing is, millions of millions gates are there. Whatever design we want to implement with the help of any HDL language, I can implement with the help of FPGA boards. So this is nothing but, I can say this MUX design is nothing but it is containing two AND gate, one OR gate and one inverter. So this is my output, output Y equal to A AND with negation of select plus B AND with select. Now the thing is, with the help of different MUXs, I can achieve the functionality of different gates. So that's why we are we are calling FPGA as a programmable. So whatever logic we want to design, I need to use any SDL language. 
I can write my program and I can achieve the functionality because of this. So thank you for listening me. Thanks a lot.